What's up, all my fight fans? So, Jake Paul did an interview, and he is talking MMA. And guys, I do not like that for him. You know, that's one thing that I've seen with these fighters. We've seen with Con uh, Conor McGregor, and we've seen all these other fighters that are trying to do both at the same time. Unfortunately, you can't. You really, really can't. You can only do one at a time. This is much different than regular sports. You know, regular sports, even though it's still as difficult. We've seen athletes like Bo Jackson play baseball, football. We've seen Deion, um, excuse me, Sanders do the exact same thing. Michael Jordan play baseball and uh, basketball as well. And they did different things. So it's it's not relatively easy, but you look at them, not a lot of them were like extremely great. You know, you know, you could only be good at one sport because you need all your time to be in one sport. You know, we know Bo Jackson being this really one hell of a great um, football player in his heyday, but we don't hear too much of him in his baseball time. You know, same thing with Michael Jordan, legend, legend, probably the greatest of all time, depending on your argument in basketball. Not they didn't do too well in baseball, played a little bit, but that was that. So it's just it's all about what dedication you can do and what dedication you put your time to. Now, if that's something that Jake Paul is trying to do where he wants to put all his time and energy in it, then he's going to have to 100 percent stop boxing and go into uh, just strictly MMA and spend the next few years of his life dedicating to straight up MMA. Now, that's still not going to say you're going to be good at it because unfortunately, when you face all other opponents in that higher level, like I'm sure he wants to, like a Jorge Masvidal, like an Nate Diaz, like a Conor McGregor, these guys have been doing it since their their teens, maybe even younger, maybe since they were children, um, practicing, doing jiu-jitsu, doing boxing, doing wrestling. They, it's just instilled in, into them. And honestly, they probably forgotten more of their training than Jake Paul is ever going to learn. So if Jake Paul were to do this and take on some of the more re, uh, new opponents like um, himself and some of the other relatively newer guys, then yeah, maybe he can make himself something and everything like that. But if you're going to try to put yourself into a situation where you want to do it for like maybe a couple years against somebody that's been doing it for 20 years, maybe more, then yeah, you're really going to hurt yourself. You're really going to put some um, damage to yourself. So that's something that I really strongly advise against. Now, if this is a one-off, then I can understand it. I'm like, hey, you know, one-off. We've seen James Tony do that with Randy Couture um, back in the day. He was doing boxing, then he went over there. You know, we've seen Conor McGregor do pretty much kind of like a one-off with Floyd Mayweather because I know Conor McGregor was trying to do both, and that's just it just goes to show you can't. You can't. It's just two different sports. Regardless of you using the same uh, tools, but it's still two different sports. Now, if he wants to do it a one-off, make some money, sure, I can see that. I can see that. You know, you can you can go in there. He already has some heat built it up into uh, um, well, Jorge Masvidal. I know they've been going back and forth for quite some time. He has some heat going with Conor McGregor, that's for sure. And to put both of them into a, um, a fight with each other, that would definitely be very entertaining as well. What I say, it, I know what people are going to say. It's probably like a circus, a clown show. But nonetheless, it's still very entertaining, guys. And that's what we are. Well, that's what the generation we're living in. We're living in the world of entertainment. And I know Jorge or um, Conor McGregor would definitely not say no to that because it is a big money fight, big payday. And Dana White would love nothing more, you know, with the beef that they've been having back and forth with Conor and, uh, excuse me, with um, Jake Paul and himself. Then, yeah, I would, I'm sure he would love nothing more than to put, um, have his guys put his hands on him and stop him and just hurt him very, very badly. You know, with all the trash talk that they've been doing back and forth. So, yeah, I could I could definitely see it being a one off. But if it's going to be something that he wants to do um, long term, then I strongly suggest stop boxing 100 percent and go straight into uh, uh, MMA, just pure MMA 100 percent. Do your work on your jujitsu, work on your kickboxing, work on your boxing, work on your wrestling. You need all these tools 100 percent, all the above. You can't just do one Think you're going to go in there being this great with your hands, practice a little jujitsu, practice a little wrestling, and you're going to just uh, mop the floor with these guys who have been doing it for a lifetime. It's impossible. Can't happen. That's my strong suggestion. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think MMA, do you think Jake Paul should straight up start doing MMA? Or do you think he should just stay in his field, do what he's doing, do what he knows best, and stick with boxing? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.